Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Quest Reward. I'm your host, Mr. Mail Sock Lover. Or Mr. Merlandia Lover. But we gotta talk about two minutes of hate. The entire department had come to a halt as every worker gathered in a hall with a large projection screen. There were hundreds of seats, but soon they were all filled as, as the ponies waited for the two minutes hate to begin. There was excited chatter in the air. They, were, they went silent as a large black and white face appeared on the screen. It was Jet Set, the former governor of New Maryland, the primary enemy of Marylandia. His face was sorrowful and began to plead to the audience, saying that they had made a grave error. And that was not too late to turn back. Several ponies in the audience responded with angry shouts. Jet said, continue. His voice increasingly brittle. As he spoke about the magic of friendship and Princess Celestial and how she still loved them and would forgive them if they embraced her again. But as he spoke, grim equestrian soldiers began marching forth from behind him. The audience gasped and began shouting more and more. As the soldier's boots stamped on the ground, Jet said, continued to whimper, tears coming from his eyes. He was so miserable and pathetic that it was impossible not to despise him. Then Jet said's face faded. And Celestia herself appeared, shaking the filthy claws of a griffin barbarian. Now the pony soldiers marched alongside griffins towards the audience, wielding rifles and guns and knives with a murderous look in her eyes. Or in their eyes. <clears throat> the audience screamed and yelled, some began to panic while one pony threw a newspeak dictionary at the screen. But then the screen went black and silent. Slowly, Big Sister's calming face appeared quietly, staring at the viewers. They responded with praise, relieved that she had saved them from the tyrant princess and their savage allies, and began chanting her name in joy. B. S. B. S. Big Sister. Hey, campaigns. Crucible population goes up. War penalty stability modifier plus 40% and more war support, as we're doing. Double think currently. Now we're going to do freedom of slavery. Power is in tearing minds to pieces and putting them back together in new shapes of your own choosing. Ponies of Merlandia will not know the magic of friendship, nor they will know honesty, generosity, or kindness. They will simply know the love of a big sister. We shall squeeze them empty of harmony and fill them with ourselves. Currently, we only have 11 divisions, though, as I've been just pooping out divisions pretty as fast as possible. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I'm, we're just going to have to use cons commands to get us a lot more equipment and more, maybe not pony power, but at least some more equipment so that we can get a lot of things done. But we'll get some comments such as, play as Red Line in Metro 2033 mod, please. Someone says, I don't remember the Civil War being that hard. I'll have to investigate the game to see what was going on. It only happens if you don't purge the military fast enough, which is very true because I should have done that one first. Um, someone else says that you should be able to have the same research and multiple slots in order to speed that research up, which would be actually kind of cool. Um, let's see. Someone else says uh, there should be a mod or feature where you automatically build rails or ra roads. That would be kind of cool. So it says, Merlandia is a nation mostly for a story of what a full-on dystopia is meant to be, but the main goal is to attack Aquila as soon as possible, aim for Ringbardi quickly, and consolidate power before spreading out even further. As long as there's another nation on the planet, there's always a threat to Merlandia. And someone says, you needed to rush a great purge to avoid the civil war, which is very true. I should have done that one first. I wasn't thinking when I did this. So I should have done this one first, which would have prevented the civil war, which would have been good. But it is what it is, and let's get rid of some minorities. Expulse the Griffins. The Griffin minority in a country cannot be trusted. They are a poten potential fifth column that our eastern foes are eager to use to their advantage when they eventually seek to destroy us. Not only that, but their race is inherently capitalistic, with many of them refusing to integrate into our society and serving in the army. We've tolerated their dissent behavior long enough. Racial harmony. Not all Griffins were forced to leave the country. Those who willingly joined the party and espoused its vows were warmly welcomed to Big Sister's fold. In fact, there was no racial discrimination in the process of becoming a party member, as every creature was given an equal chance as long as they fulfilled their numerous other prerequisites. Most importantly, absolute loyalty to Mersok. Griffins, Theestrals, and Zebras soon rose to the ranks, and even some joining the inner party. Official. Propaganda continued to portray the Griffins as an alien, also race, but even this was a temporary arrangement. Once the Griffin states were inevitably crushed, there would be no reason to promote anti-Griffin hatred, and the propaganda machine would swiftly change gears to promote Griffins as brothers and sisters no different than ponies. Similar propaganda was already being made about Thestrals, who had long been regarded as secondary citizens, albeit treated better than in Equestria. Merlandia, after all, was a free and equal country, so racial solidarity was to be expected. My questions, however, are misguided and savage creatures. Bent on destroying a Merlandia, Big Sister will give them no mercy. She will destroy Equestria and eradicate its degenerate populace. Death to Equestria. Big Sister, Big Sister, Big Sister. BS, 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 BS. And I did give ourselves a lot of equipment here, just because there's nothing else we could do. And now we're just kind of waiting for these guys to attack, which would be a good thing for us, I guess. Um, let's try to get more divisions and stuff like that. So, yeah, overall, I hate using cons commands, but, you know, it is what it is. The changings have won in Equestria, so... It is what it is. And Stalingrad has beat up Nova Griffonia, so... There is that. The no Griffonian Empire still exists, huh? Kinda sucks for them, but we're doing jo open joy camps. We have tens of thousands of prisoners languishing in custody, their numbers growing each day. But now we're finally opening uh, correctional facilities where the prisoners will be forced to work for the state. This serves two purposes, to punish the prisoners and to extract labor from them. The prisoners will be told if they work hard enough, they'll be freed. They never will be. Ah, joy camps. Our bite mocked fry. A trans rod in every home. The trans rod is a new invention created by the finest Massock engineers. It's similar to the radio, but in addition to acting as a receiver, it can also transmit audio as well as visual data. 
Hence the name. Equipped with a sensitive microphone and miniature camera, it allows to closely monitor every party member, especially those belonging to the outer party and the junior spies. Uh, we cannot allow citizens to remain more loyal to family than to the party. The bonds must be broken from within by having the foals join the junior spies, a nationwide youth organization promoting patriotism and party values. After the offspring are indoctrinated, they will become fanatically loyal to the party, eagerly spying on their parents and report any divergent behavior. Nice. The more kind of support? Oh, we love it. Um, I'm kind of surprised they're actually not trying to attack us yet again, but okay, whatever. Plenty of political power, though. Um, here. That's fine. Apparently we can core all this territory as well eventually, which is very nice, but still. Junior spies, and then thought police? Oh, yes. In Merlandia, we are free from oppressive laws. There's only one crime that can be committed, from which all other devious deeds derive from thought crimes. To prevent it, the p thought police shall be established, dedicating or dedicated monitoring the outer party members and their behavior for any signs of dissidents. Those who are found guilty will then be cleansed of heresy in room 84. We can hear you. Paper push, remember the outer party, glanced to his sides as he neared his home. <clears throat> He had to make sure no one was following him home before he entered the apartment building. His saddlebags contained an item which would result in capital punishment if discovered, but thankfully no one had reason to check its contents. He climbed up the creaking, dilapidated stairs and quietly opened the door of his apartment, trying not to attract attention. He slipped inside, closed the door, and breathed a sigh of relief. The trans rat in his room was playing patriotic songs, it was impossible to turn it off, so he had been on while he was gone. He walked to his desk and took off his saddlebag, hesitantly. He opened it and, just in case, pulled moth-eaten curtains over the windows. With trembling hooves, he took out the blasphemous criminal object. The Journal of Friendship, he mumbled in awe. The book contained the lessons of Twilight Sparkle and her friends, contraband from overseas, branded as harmonist, a harmonist, brainwashing propaganda by Marisol. On these pages, the magic of friendship remained even if it was gone from the rest of New Maryland. The tomb of this, the tomb was as precious as it was dangerous. He carefully opened the cover and flipped the pages to check if, if that it was real. Indeed, it was filled with stories of friendship and harmony. He was looking forward to reading every day and reminisce the past when ponies of New Maryland had been friends with each other. Then there was a loud thump on the door. Then another. Paper pushed a gasp and scrambled to hide the book, but it was already too late as the door shattered into wooden splinters. The police officers entered, aiming guns at him and ordering him to drop the book and lie down with hooves on his back. Did you think you could hide your thought crimes from us? One of the officers barked. Remember, Big Sister's not only watching you, she is hearing you as well. Before he could respond, an officer smacked him in the head with a baton and knocking him out. Curing insanity. Do you know where you are, Paper Pusher? An inner party member asked. Inside the Ministry of Love. How long have you been here? I don't know, weeks, months, years? And why do you think we're bringing ponies here? Uh, to make them confess. Wrong. To punish them? No. We bring them here to be cured, so they can assume, can be sane again. You too shall be saved. Paper Push was lying on a stretcher, his limbs tied, and his body mobilized. Silver wires were attached to him. You still cling to your delusions that friendship and harmony should be strived for, even fought for. Once we are done with you, you will know what truly matters. Tell me, what is the purpose of Myersock? You claim to protect us from capitalism and imperialism while securing your fragile rule of tyranny. If like a switch and Paper Push screamed from pain, no, try again. You rule for us for your own good. He screamed again for pain. The inner party member shook his head in disappointment. You don't understand Marisol's skull and purpose is power. Power not over matter, but over the mind. We cannot allow, and do not allow, heresy to blossom. We cleanse it as soon as we find it. Tell me, how can you make sure another person obeys you? With suffering? With suffering. Pain is the essence, essence of power. And power is all we seek. Therefore, we make rebels and traitors suffer until they break, until we cure them and make them loyal, until we triumph. This is what we desire. Victory after victory. Complete domination. We are not like other tyrants of the world, like Chrysalis who claimed to fight for honor, or Kimmer Sky who claimed to fight for democracy. We want nothing but power for its own sake, but why did you abandon friendship and harmony? Why weren't you happy with it? You must understand this, paper pusher. Friendship is temporary relief. Friends die, harmony stagnates and dies, but the party is forever. If an individual obliterates themselves and becomes one with the party, if all their thoughts and actions derive from the party, they are immortal. Thus they have power over even death. I don't care for immortality or power, I just want to have friends again, like before. The inner party member sighed. It seems there's only one option left for you, then. Room 84. Junior spies with thought police? Nice. Also, as you can tell, we're at war with these guys, and this is terrible. Uh, this is just god awful. I, did, I had to delete a ton of wing body divisions because they just keep naval invading us. And um, New Marylandia, or just Marylandia, or Marisoc, whatever we are, we just don't have the industry or manpower to do anything about this, which really sucks for the new Navy of Marylandia. The ships of the Royal Mar Marylandia Navy have been collectivized by the state. They should not be put to use to defend our long coastline and to control the oceans around us, cutting off any maritime supplies and trade links of our enemies. Choke them. Any equestrian force that invades Merlandia will have to bring supplies across the sea to keep their troops supplied. Hunting and sinking these logistic ships will leave any invaders stranded and starving, making them easy prey for our soldiers. Floating fortresses. It is inevitable that our navy will have to fight in direct combat with another navy, and ensuring our capital ships are top of the line will prevent us from being defeated. Constructing huge mobile behemoths of steel armed to the brim with weaponry will guarantee naval dominance and sea of death. The only seas themselves will bring death to all merchant shipping as well as surface fleets our enemies will inevitably send after us. And here we are at it, and we're now on the offensive because apparently Rumair has gone to war with the Kingdom of Wingbody, so we should do relatively okay. 
I haven't deleted too many more divisions. Oh, the Sun Awake piece. Well, that sucks. Um, we were doing okay. We killed off already a million of them, which is pretty nice. Pretty decent overall. Um, we got one of our guys captured here, which does suck, but we did get him back, which is pretty good. Um, actually, since we're here anyways, are we done with the cryptology yet? Uh, I'd actually tell this I'd be good to use anyways. 59 days. If we capitulate these guys, that'd be, uh, real swell. Very swell, actually. Keep losing some convoys here and there, but it is what it is. And subs. Go destroy our stuff for now. Let's we'll see how far we can push and do, just because eh, we might be stalling out already, which kind of sucks. Navarro, which kind of sucks. We need to get way more manpower, which I don't like, but all adults serve. Uh, we'll do the best we can until we can get more stuff. We get we have to get to Navarro. We just have to. Come on. Come on. Yeah, this campaign has been very much a struggle bus. It reminds me very much of when I played the changings for the first time, and actually I deleted that uh, campaign on my channel because it was just so bad. And the devs, I'm sure some of them were watching, um, told me that they make they would make some changes and stuff, so this still this mod is still the best mod out there. It's still by far the best mod. I, I love TNO, Old World Blues, but Ghost of War is still probably the best mod. Because yeah. it does actually listen. It's great. I love it. I love that it does actually listen and... Uh, Maybe sometimes they shouldn't listen to me, but, you know. Still, the, the devs are awesome. The devs are just awesome, 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 awesome individuals. The Air Force is very good. And now the new Air Force of Marylandia. We're the rightful inheritors of the new Maryland Air Force, and we will repurpose into a tool of destruction. Whoever rules the skies rules the battlefield, and whoever rules the battlefield will eventually rule this world. Our ample supply of aluminum and experienced pots will allow us to wield the mightiest Air Force on the continent. And then Air Supremacy. What is that one? Or death from above. We wish to build, bound our foes in a complete submission. We need to bombard the civilians and destroy the factories. Well, when we show them how vulnerable they are, strike at their dearest monuments and massacre helpless civilians, their morale will be devastated and they should will become weak with fear. Which is always our goal. So, losses. Quite a few. Quite a few. Um, we should do relatively still okay, though. But you haven't achieved for manpower? Yeah, probably will have to since we're looking pretty weak right now, but still. How close are they capitulating? Not that close, but still. Oh, they died. Good. Integration techniques, nice. Foul core, eh? Not bad. Not great, but not bad. And we should have another land auction coming on very soon. Ooh, mass combat does hurt us a little bit, though. Very nice. Shock and all. Even more soft attack. Yes, please. Lots and lots of arty, man. Lots and lots of arty. Some better subs. That's fine to do. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Don't have a lot of naval XP, but we have some. Computer data. Well, that's an, it's an okay sub. It's not great. Carthon would be great to have, though. Mm, I'm pretty sure you can take Carthon. Pretty sure about it. We are still slowly pushing with no manpower, but we'll see. Just how, how are you not able to take this? This literally makes no sense. Come on. Take the god dang city. Uh, attention specialist. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. Uh. There you go. Fall of Carthen. That's good. Hopefully, not use any more cons commands to do all this stuff. There we go. Okay, so now after using cons commands, take everyone else out. We have a lot of resistance here. There you go. Not bad. You three come over here. And you all come over here. Um. So that's the Anton. We have to fight the Anton, which will suck a lot. So help us put down a lot of resistance down here. That'd be good. And quite a bit up there as well. So I think the goal is to get up to surprise attack on the Aquilia. Uh, get 40% compliance, and then those these states will become cores, at least if I remember. Let's do death from above. <clears throat> which would be great. Thank you. And here's supremacy. 
Our aircraft needs to be even faster, nimbler, more lethal. Each new model must surpass a previous one. The quantity must not be sacrificed for quality. If we not only outclass the enemy, but outnumber them, we'll achieve total domination in the sky. Engineers and factory workers must get to work, and weapons of mass destruction. The ultimate show of force is the only way to guarantee Marisok's rise and the utter eradication of capitalism. And what better way than a mixture of science and magic so dangerous that it should not be used to bar the most extraordinary of circumstances? As you can see on screen, we've already gone to war with the Quillian Republic. Apparently they went Democratic Socialist. But they just went to war with the Griffonian Empire, Holy Catherine Council, and all them. So I figured, you know what? It's time. It, it's time to try to take these guys out. You know, they're doing really, really well against Griffonian Empire. And we're not doing that great. We're doing okay-ish. So... Yeah, I'm going to cause a lot of casualties here on both sides, but oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully we can do well. The spy is not great, but with them being distracted up north somewhat, it's it's time to push. It's time to see what we can really do. See, they're Democratic Socialists, Underground Crew, which I've played as before. But we'll see. They have a lot of equipment, though. That's not good for us. Uh, what do we got here? Not bad. It's good to add on to us. Yeah, they have a lot of tanks, which is so very surprising. I didn't think they'd actually use a lot of tanks here, but... Yeah, it's not going great for us. We're losing a lot of pony power. I'm very surprised that the Griffonian Empire is not doing that well. Griffonian Empire, I should say. Shrinkage stopping. Yeah, we're actually doing very badly now, so let's hold first. Hold. See what we can do. Oh, we should have used that earlier. Um, in the meantime... Oh, crap. Another killing each other, too. Come on, guys. Uh, get those roads done. That's super important, actually. Anything here? No. Not really yet. Surprised they're not going to attack us yet, which is fine, because we do need to build up all these roads, but still... How could they beat us? Air no, we have air superiority. We have air superiority. They don't. So that's very surprising, and it's going to be kind of a slog probably throughout the rest of this campaign. But I just wanted to show you all that. This is what we're up to right now. And how much is going on? We're just kind of sitting here, suffering a lot of uh, attrition and whatnot. And we're definitely going to need a lot more uh, supplies moving on through here. But that'll take time. As we continue to do our... Uh, Industrial stuff, intelligence, espionage stuff, but we'll see what happens with the Quillian Republic. And everyone, here we're at, in which I just, I've given up. I've given up on this campaign. It just, it just has not been fun. It's just been such a tremendous grind. And part of it was my fault for not putting anti-tank in some of our divisions, but at the same time, it's just, it's not been fun. It just was, this has been one of the campaigns where I just didn't have a lot of fun. I'm not going to delete this off my channel, but it's just not fun. It's just straight up not fun. It, it's too grindy, and you just don't have enough of anything to do anything here. Which, I guess, you know, the main focus of this was to have a story like, you know, 1984 and stuff like that and Big Brother. But, trying to take this out fairly, impossible. Cannot recommend. But, that's the end of this campaign because I need to go do something else because I'm really flipping frustrated at all this stuff. But, if you enjoy, if you enjoyed it somehow, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we're not going to play as Mirlandia and have a different story. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.